Hey guys, this is quick yoga stretch number 33. We're going to get an amazing, fun, quick stretch in in under 30 minutes. So let's get to it. Start with three sun salutations to warm up. So arms up, arch if you want to, hands in front of your feet, look at your knees, flat back, down, plank, chaturanga, tuck your feet, roll forward, upward dog, Tuck your toes, hips up, down dog, feet to the hands, straighten the legs, look at your knees, and reverse. Two more, arms up, arch, hands in front of your feet, look at your knees, flat back, down, plank. Chaturanga, tuck your feet, roll forward, upward dog, tuck your toes, hips up, downward dog, feet to the hands, straighten the legs, look at your knees, and reverse, and one more, arms up, Hands in front of your feet, look at your knees, flat back, down, plank, chaturanga, tuck your feet, roll forward, upward dog, tuck your toes, hips up, downward dog, and now from here, you're going to swing one leg up, I'm going to do my right leg, Bring it between the hands and come up into warrior two. So toes of the back foot are going to be pointing away from you. Feet are going to be at a 90 degree angle from each other. Hips open, front knee bent to a 90 degree angle. Back leg straight and strong. Stand through the full foot. Keep the weight evenly distributed through both legs and feet. And now from here, since this is my right side, I'm going to take my left hand, wrap it around the right thigh. If you can, you can do that. If not, keep it free. Totally fine. I'm going to sink and we're going to reach back, looking up into reverse warrior. I am crazy losing my balance. One. And here, come up, tiptoe if you like, oh gosh, <laughs> okay, and back down, oh, back to down dog, <laughs> that wasn't so smooth, that's alright, okay, I'm going to switch legs, so now, for me, the left leg is going up, and foot between the hands, turn the back foot out away from you, toes away from you, and warrior two, <sighs> wind it already, <laughs> bend this front knee to a 90 degree angle, back leg straight, and now my right hand, comes around my left thigh, my left arm, good reach, into reverse, and let go, and come into tiptoe, Downward dog. Whew. Okay. Now, swing the right leg through. Bring it between the hands and lower the knee. Oh, we're going to do hands bound, extended lizard tail. So it's just a variation of lizard. But our back knee's down. 
That's not as bad. No, it's not going to be great though. Okay. So we're going to find our hands. You can just stay here. Just stay here. Keep sending this hip down, opening up here, if this is enough for you. Or if you come onto the forearms, up on the palms. Okay? But I'm going to clasp my hands behind me and forehead down. Again, tiptoe, and the hand's going to reach under. Oh, okay. And foot back down, toes down, or heel down rather. And I'm going to reach underneath. Okay. Bring this leg back. Alright, and step the other leg forward. Oh, comfortable stance so that you can get in that hip, sinking the hip down, down, down. You come onto the forearms, you stay up on the hands, or again, join me, clasp the hands. Head, forehead to the ground. <sighs> Come up. <sighs> it's challenging. Tiptoe. And arms underneath. Oh, okay. Woo. And rest for a second in child pose. Oh. Okay. And now we're going to come into frog. So you're going to spread your legs as wide as you can. Oh, my couch is always in the way. Okay. So you spread your legs as wide as you can. Ankles in line with your knees. Come too far forward. Keep your hips in line with your knees as well, and then lower down. I'm going to try to hold this. You need to just do that. You might not be this deep in the stretch. Totally fine. Be where you are. And if it's not enough, you can keep this right here. Oh, separate the knees even wider. Whew, feels pretty good to me. Make sure my hips are good. Yeah. You can hang out up here too. Just come down to the forearms. I like to be all the way down. Okay, and one more deep breath. And come forward out of it. Oh, all right. And now we're going to do a half frog. So this will be the quad stretching variation. So 
just going to lay on your belly. Come up on the left forearm here. Grab the right foot with the right hand. Turn the, twist your palm around so that your fingers and your toes are pointing the same direction. And press. Press the foot to the ground. My camera just had a warning. I'm worried it's going to stop recording. I wonder if it's the battery. <laughs> Ground. I'm going to plug this in really quick, keep stretching, and switch sides. Yep, it's the battery. <laughs> okay, part of the interruption, we are plugged back in, and I'm going to switch sides. So now, up on the right forearm, twist the left hand, fingers pointing the same direction as the left toes, <laughs> palm on top of the foot, and press into that foot, trying to get it down towards the ground. Nice quad stretch. Okay. And we're more than halfway. So we're making good time. practice Cobra and then we're going to get into a more challenging knee grabbing um, little bow variation. So practice Cobra wherever you are. Now I'm just paranoid that my camera's going to keep something recording. It's fine, it's plugged in, it has power. Okay, so palms on the ground underneath the shoulders. So you can just start rolling up a little bit this is where you are, or here, okay, be where you are, make sure that you're really, you're rolling the shoulders back here, and you're really engaging your glutes, so your butt, really clench, squeeze those cheeks, use that so that you don't dump into your lower back here, okay, and then you'll be able to really roll the shoulders back, and bend from the middle back, and not your lower back. You might even get a nice crack. I've already practiced this several times today, so I've gotten my cracks out. All right. Lower back down. And now you can just practice bow. You can just wrap your hands around the center of your feet, reaching from the outside towards the inside, and can just be here, okay, hang out there, stretch as much as you can, try to stay on your belly, you don't want to roll back onto your pubic bone, hurts like hell, <laughs> so just be conscious of that, I'm going to grab for my knees, or close to it, I was working on a variation where you roll completely up onto the pubic bone, so I have my extra cushy mat here while holding onto the knees, but it just hurts. <laughs> so let's not do that. Okay, now we're going to change onto our back, so lay down, and I'm going to do happy baby, so grab from the 
inside, grab the outside of the feet, and pull, try to get your legs down, and we can do one at a time, I find this feels really helpful for my flexibility, so left leg is going out straight, keeping the heel down, and glute down, and then I'm pulling this down to the ground, I can even use both hands. So while this knee is on the ground, this leg needs to also stay on the ground. You don't want it to be popped up like this, then you're not getting a really good stretch. If you can't get these both down, just get it as close as you can and keep this leg down. So if you're, all, if you're up here and this leg is down, good. And just keep working on opening up more. That's all that we can do. coming up. Alright, so we're going to stay up a little bit higher while we stretch here. Because I really want to get into this stretch. I want it to be a successful stretch. Can't quite do it. Am I doing it? Oh, almost. soles of the feet together and I'm going to pull my feet in towards my chest while pressing the tailbone down. It's sort of like a reclined bound angle and then we're also going to do reclined star. So for that you're going to pull the feet up and in towards the face just like as if we were sitting and up in star pose. Okay, and now one last fun pose. <laughs> Gonna try a recline split. So. How do I do this? Oh yeah, okay, so my left hand stays on the inside of my right foot and my right hand's going to the outside. And keep the left leg down and just pull it back. Just get it as close as you can. You just hang out here and this feels good. You have to rotate the hip open quite a bit for this, so be aware of that. Okay, and switch sides. So now the right leg goes out. And right hand's on the inside of the left foot, left hand's on the outside. And same thing, just pull it down. So the toes are on the ground. Lying spinal twist. So, left knee in, over to the right, left arm out to the left, twist through both. Try to get the knee and the shoulder down. Just that action of twisting through both creates that nice twist. Pressing through both. Side. So 
the right knee into the chest, over to the left, right arm out to the right, and press through both, create that twist. So I'm not sure how long this was today, it was definitely under 30 minutes though, so my video got interrupted, sorry about that. Thank you for bearing with me, at least it wasn't during anything too crazy. <laughs> Alright, and we're done. So, oh, I hope you enjoyed. Leave me a comment and let me know how this felt for you. Oh, my hair's crazy. Of course. <laughs> we just practiced together. So I hope you enjoyed. Leave me a comment, let me know. Like, subscribe, and share. Visit jiggityjack.com for more full yoga classes and workouts and nutrition, health, fitness, recipes, all kinds of good stuff. If you're on Patreon, become a patron for as little as $1 to $3 a month to get early access to these classes and other exclusive content. Let me know what else you would like to see from me and I can totally make that happen. I'm Jiggity Jack on Facebook and Instagram where you can follow me for the latest updates of what is new, what is going on. And thank you so much for practicing with me. I hope you enjoyed it and have a wonderful week, guys.